Don't know. I, I haven't even spoken to him. I know he's in a sling, so let's hope uh, it's not. You know, there's a play where there's a loose ball. The other guy should have dove on it because he didn't, and Tyler dove on it. And so that's, you know, it's a freak kind of deal, but that's how it happened. So he's, uh, he's, you know, he's hurt right now, but we'll see. And, uh, you know, it's a good thing to get Isaiah and Jamal some time in there without him. Um, I thought Isaiah struggled. Um, you know, he's flipping balls like you're in a horse game. He had like four flips at the, like he was trying to spin them off the high corner to see if he could knock it in. Like we're playing skee ball. And, you know, he had three or four plays that were layup, easy passes, and he looked away, wrapped around. and But this is a great learning experience for him. They played hard. You know, he did some good stuff, but. What are you guys if you don't have Tyler for any extended period of time? Not very good. You, you, it seemed like you guys applied pretty good defensive pressure and turned them over uh, yeah. even without him. I mean, no, we, we started the half, and, and then what happens is the thing that he does is sustain it. And we had some guys out there that, you know, I, I come back to, you know, that every game you're out to prove who you are, and we're out to prove who we are. We got some guys that it's just really hard the way we play. I know people watch and say, how in the world is it that they play that hard and they get out there, and, you know, that's crazy for that long a period of time. But that's make, that makes our players who they are. And that's why they have the opportunities when they're done with us that they have. And the guys that think that's too hard, they normally do not have the same opportunities. So this, this was one that um, you got to give Orlando. His team never quit. They got down 30, and all of a sudden you turn around and they're still fighting. Um, they're, you know, they turned it over a bunch in the first half. They didn't in the second half. In the second half, they shoot 60% against us. And we're a pretty good defensive team. It wasn't like we weren't trying. Um, you know, they had lob dunks. They had weak side rebounds. They did. Um, I, I thought Orlando, you know, like I said, it was tied in the second half. That's what the score was. Is Jamal the kind of guy that when something like that happens or Tyler just he, he Well, I thought, the, you know, Isaiah got a couple baskets and he got, you know, he understands. Um, he's accepting, like, however I need to play, I'm going to play. I like what I saw from Dom today. Dom may be that rotational guy. Um, and it wasn't the shot. It was the defensive play where they charged. Uh, you know, he's flying up and down the court. I mean, I like what I saw from him. Um, but we just, you know, I, I thought some of our frontline guys just were like, you know, either didn't want to mix it up or weren't ready for this game. It seemed like you were pretty frustrated with Marcus Lee throughout. Not just him. I mean, I was frustrated with a bunch of the guys. Um, you know, this it, it became a little bit physical in there, and you can't run from that. You got to relish that, and that's where we are right now. And everybody knows that's where we are. I'm not saying anything that's wow. What, what is that? I mean, when the game gets real physical, either you get lower and fight back, or you run, or you don't roll real fast because you know if I roll fast, I'm going into that stuff. So there was a lot of that today, just kind of avoiding avoiding what they were going to throw at us. And that's why I think um, his team will be fine. They, they've got to shoot the ball better. They're like we are. You know, we shot it well today from the three. But, um, you know, what happened was, you know, uh, for us, um, you had Tyler and, and Jamal, you know, four out of seven. You know, so we're pretty good when those two are making shots. Scow's, Scow's a good free throw shooter. What happened is the other guys didn't shoot many. So don't get fouled. Maybe that's why my man's playing ski ball on layups. I mean, I don't know. But what you want is your best foul shooters to get fouled. The other dudes, if you can't make a free throw, don't get fouled. Don't get or lay it in quick before they get to you. Second half or first half? No, we just we shut them down for about seven, eight minutes. That's what happened. I mean, they hung around and 
hung around, and then we shut them down for four or five, got a, a, a couple breakouts, made a couple threes. All of a sudden, it's 15. You look up, it's 17. It's 18. Now it's 21. That was it. I mean, and, and it was that we and, – and, again, that's who we are as a defensive team. What you saw in the second half is not, you know – I mean, again, if you're out to prove who you are, you're doing that every night. And, um, you know, but I'm happy the, for the way Orlando kept his team fighting and the organization they had and how they played. I mean, we're holding people to 37%. They shot 46. I mean, we're holding people, we're shutting people down. We didn't do, that, do it to them. We only out rebounded by six rebounds. We're out rebounding people pretty good right now um, but how much more physical play do you expect from opponents going forward I mean if I'm if you're watching tape that's what they're going to do then you just hope that the the new rules the new rules that we're supposed to be living by come into play then and if you start chucking and doing that stuff it's automatic those are automatic calls boop foul there, at least that's what I saw on that tape. I had to watch for an hour. Do you think the refs got kind of backtracked a little bit? No, I'm just saying this is the last time we tried to do this. The team that won the national title beat the crap out of everybody, and the rest of us said, "Well, we're not playing by these rules." And the whole everybody just fouled on every possession. We started the season doing this. I just hope that we all have the stomach to do this because it's better for the game. It's a better way, way of playing the game. It's a better way of, for our fans to watch the game. So I believe they will. I think they're committed to it. I just think it adds time to the game. We're trying to, you know, get the game speeded up. You know, and that's why I get mad with substitution. And I got mad that we had another situation where we took five minutes to look at a play that was a bang, bang play. Went to the monitor, went five minutes, seven minutes. Eight. I went bonkers because all the rule changes are to speed up the game. So why is, you know, I mean, and that's what I'm saying when I'm talking to these guys. Look, you're telling me these are the rules and what we're supposed to be doing. You just do them, you know, and so, but uh, no, I, I don't think so. And I think the women's game, the, the, those quarters are making the game longer. I believe so. Not yet. Jamal said that Tyler tried to talk his way back into the game. Does that, did you know that? I don't know. Does that surprise you at all? No. no. But I haven't even talked to him to see how bad it is. Um, but I, like I said, it was good for Isaiah, and it was good for Jamal. It was good for Dom. It was great to see um, Charles Matthews. See, I think Charles has just pushed everybody aside and now has moved his way into that rotation. And he's doing it because he's working hard. He's rebounding the ball. He's defending and going up, scoring around a basket and ones. He made two free throws, two for two. Wait a minute, you're playing, and then someone else doesn't play. Well, we all want to play. It's not eighth grade, man. This is not eighth grade. We're not playing three units of five. I did some of that last year. Anything else? Thanks.